Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? It has been a minute since, well, that's overflowing. It has been a minute since I have put a video up on the channel, only because I have been super busy to break for a minute. Um, but in that in that little pause, off the water here, in that pause, I decided to actually start working on my boat again for a little bit. We put on a new winch, the motor's on, like it's on, got a bucket there. So one issue that I ran into, one issue that I ran into was when I put the controller back on, after getting all the wires and everything hooked up, the new key, which we got, we got a new key, my throttle was sticky. So I took the controller apart, needed a new drum assembly, so I repaired that. Well, got the drum assembly taken care of, got it all put back together, and then disaster struck, still sticky. Didn't know why it was still sticky. Took it to a local guy. There's a couple things wrong. One, you got this friction thing. Right here, the throttle friction. It wasn't letting the, the controls move properly. Secondly, there was a fuel line in the way of the throttle uh, uh, or throttle assembly on the inside here this little fuel line right there right there was getting stuck in these internals in these guts I'm just gonna start it up because I want to know if it starts I don't know if it even does start but we got the fuel taken care of it's all hooked up pre-mixed that doesn't run anymore still oil in it but not sure how old but yeah, we're this this is like the maiden. Here we go. Let's let's get this thing started. I haven't started it yet, so <laughs> this is all an adventure to me. Now, mind you, I don't have muffs on it yet, so this is just gonna be see if it even starts up in the first place if I even need muffs. If not, yeet it out the back door. I don't care. Here we go. I don't know what these beeps mean. Why are you beeping? Quit. Okay. Okay. It is idling really high. That, I don't think it should be idling that high. It's like trying to rev itself. <laughs> that's um exciting that's very exciting especially like i was expecting to be like doing tournaments by now <laughs> it's idling way too high i need to fix that I can't wait to get some muffs on this thing. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I get some muffs on it, I will pick up, but holy shit. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit after the fact of everything that we just went through and uh, couldn't find any rabbit ears, any muffs. So, what I'm gonna do, I've got another plastic drum. I'm gonna cut it this proper size, because why not? I just need to measure out how far I cut this one. I think I need to raise it another three inches, four inches. My trusty Milwaukee, there's 10 inches. Oh God. Twenty six. Okay. Oh, it's got some that has got some liquid in it.
Well, that mouse wasn't too lucky. That was gross. Gross. Ooh, that stinks. Don't try this at home. We're all appropriate safety equipment. Uh, professionals are doing this. That's disgusting. Ugh. Okay, she's she's filled up. Battery's on. That's doing this weird beep thing. Okay, anyway. Alright, she's primed. She's getting there. Revving way too high. My God. She's revving that high. We need to make some adjustments back here. So high rev. This one right here. I need to ease her back a little bit. Probably about right there. Let's see where that gets us. Alright, so 
on the tack, she's running about 2,500. I need that a lot lower. Let's bring that back even more. Oh, that's back all the way, okay. Get some pressure on there, get some tension. Okay, that just put her up to 3K. That's not where I want that at all. I'm going to just put this all the way down to this bolt right here. Or this nut, I'm sorry. There, that's all the way down to the nut. Let's see where that puts us there. Seven hundred to a thousand. She's not getting enough fuel. She's coming lean. Put that nut about right there. Okay. She's running pretty healthy on that aspect. I'm gonna put some more water in this bucket real quick. I am going back the camera up for this because I am gonna try to put her in gear, see if she's any easier to put in gear. You guys ought to get a good show out of it though. Alright, here we go. Makes me want to kick a fat kid in Kmart, you know what I'm saying? Huh. Probably not my greatest idea. Pulling it on the first spark plug. Ooh. That doesn't look too too healthy. Okay. Move it on the second. Not too bad. Alright. Can't really see the third. It's not really in a place to be viewed. It's like behind this. I don't feel like taking this off, but I can still. Come on. Oh. No residue on that. Okay. I mean, overall looking good. The top one I thought was a little oily, but it's not. Okay. Don't have spark plug sockets so I had to make do with this some vice grips this is cylinder two
What the hell is that? I've never seen a spark plug like this. I've never seen one like that before. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Let's move on to this top one. What? Ah, uh, yeah, they're pretty crusty. Last one. Oh, wow, easiest. Easiest of the three, that's for sure. Okay. They look pretty bad, actually. Okay. Um... I need to, I need to inspect these. Um, I need my phone so I can see the inside. Ooh. Pretty caked in there. Let's see if I can't get a... Caked in there. Really caked in that one. Not really sure how well you guys can see in that one. I'll zoom in post edit for you. Okay, let's move on the inside. It's getting dark. Alright, so I did not see this outside, but uh I think we know. Which spark plug was misfiring? That is electrical tape wrapped around this. Freaking electrical tape. These are pretty dark on the inside. I mean, I don't know if I can get some better light. Hold on. Look at that. But yeah, electrical tape. Let's. That was creepy. Let's see why there's electrical tape on this. Oh! Wow! Surprise! Look at that! Oh my god. Oh! Brutal! No wonder. Oh my god. Amazing. Wow. Okay. I don't even know what to say about that. Like, to find spark plugs, a spark plug that is A, not only fouled out real bad, but also to find one like this, wrapped in like electrical tape. I don't blame the guy that I got it off of. I called him right after I found that, and I was like, hey, man, did you do any, like, uh, plug work on this? And he was like, no. When I had it, it ran just fine. He sent me videos of when he had it when it was running, and uh, it was it was doing just fine. But, yeah, no. Um, on to AutoZone tomorrow. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. And if you want to keep seeing videos like this and the adventures that it is, or that are, the adventures that are uh, restoring this boat and getting the 70 to work so I can finally maybe run some tournaments this year, uh, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified when I upload another video. In the meantime, hope you guys have a great week or a great day, however long that my next video comes out, and I will see you guys next time.